beginning podcast. Um, right, we're here, guys. We're back um, for another another podcast. We've got ma- man of the moment, in my opinion, uh, Lindsay Watson. How are you, Lindsay? I'm good. Really, really good. Yeah, yeah good. That's great. Um, we we're just talking there about a bit about Swift. Um, you, you're writing this one on Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, yeah. Crazy well race. Yeah. Tell us, how has uh, the last year been for you with uh, lockdown and that? I'm missing racing and stuff. How have you been getting your, your days in? Um, I suppose, well, we kicked the season off this time last year. Yeah. Um, like, I go in to see March time every year. Like, I'm not really peaking. I'm sort of in the middle of a build phase. So I've never really much in the way of expectations. But, like, I going into the start of March, I felt brilliant. The really, legs were really, really good. So it's dead excited to get the year going. And obviously, but I suppose, end of February, March, there was sort of the chat of the, whole covid yeah. thing and so i didn't really know what was happening so um went into it was the first race on a clone on a clone did you write it but, yeah yeah i think it was second second oh. again i think it's maybe the second or third time of being second Seriously? you know and it was second then a gallop to john buller which is oh yeah, yeah. it's an like it's no bad don't, no what bad is it thing. don't don't take the ball to the line isn't the it line. Or yeah 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 and he did we took him we, we actually we dragged him to the line with we took him there but you know he's a hard man to beat in a sprint yeah. Um, so yeah, legs felt great. And the Bobby Crowley, massive, massive hit. Or was the Bobby Crowley, the Phoenix GP? Yeah, yeah. Massive, massive handicaps. Got everybody wild angry about it. Um, like it, and it sort of the cat ones, cat ones and twos maybe together. And we sort of yeah, felt yeah. like we're never going to make the catch. And I thought, you know what, just stuff it. And I kind of found myself on my own with a bit of a gap, and I just kept riding and then rode across. And it was cat ones on the own, and then cat twos and then cat threes. Yeah, yeah. And I rode across the cat too. It felt brilliant, like on my own. It's like yeah, so yeah. loud. Half an hour and it like, felt great and sort of just rode through them and then took a small group with me. And yeah, I just sort of kept them all moving. And that, I, that's, yeah, it just felt, couldn't feel the chain on the bike. Just felt oh. great that day. And then, yeah, won it. So, brilliant. yeah, it's, I kind of, I knew you had it won on the day. All I needed yeah, yeah. to do. The, the confidence, the yeah, yeah. 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 And okay. I've never went, very rarely do I go into a race knowing that, you know, there's going to be success, you know, yeah, but yeah. on the day, the guys that were there, you know, there was maybe not the same competition as there is in some other races, but I sort of knew I had the, on the line, I had the beating of yeah, yeah. everybody, you know. So, yeah, I was um, actually in the market earlier on. There's guys that go to races and will, will attack just for the sake of attacking, maybe to try and split it up. But I've always yeah. viewed you as a bit of a, a calculated guy that, yeah. will, that will do their effort and go, right, I know I can ride across this gap or I know this hill's coming up um, yeah. and that probably applies from you know, you're a good tester as well and I've always seen that so if you have the confidence you go into a race like that it's like right I know I can go across the two minute gap here to the, the age yeah. well see like, see that the handicaps out there were massive and that bridging across to that gap that was a PB you know 20 minute power PB yeah for 29 well it was the start of the year of 2019 but that was yeah. better than any better than any 20 minute power done in 2018 seriously and so, they get it at the start of the season yeah start of the season yeah Pardon? so could have been an issue with a power meter but the legs did feel yeah yeah that good and so after yeah. after that race then that was that it that was it yeah seriously that was, yeah. That, that was it until um, our nuts corner races your nuts corner races yeah, yeah, yeah so after that after the racing then it was it's not been work a week and then that was me off work for Four or five weeks. Were you doing a couple of epics then during the during the lockdown? Yeah, I just rode the bike loads, and just because, just the weather was great. The weather was yeah. class. So yeah, I just you know, I didn't and I didn't know when it was going to end. You know, I thought, oh, am I going to get a week off? I'm going to get two weeks off. So I really was taking advantage of it. And then I was sort of maybe you know three or four weeks in the big block of endurance, and sort of thought, right, I need to take a rest here. Yeah, yeah. The, the weather was class. And I thought, no, I but I was I doing about. I was doing a bit with Graham and you were worried that you were going to get this announcement like right, right racing starting in three weeks Darn. and you're like, how, how long here? You know, I've nothing, yeah. no sharp end sort of stuff done, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, but that, at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm still one that I would still maintain a small dose of intensity even if I'm doing a bit of an endurance block. Yeah, yeah. So Bring that's where the likes of the, the swift races really, you know, it helps, you know, it helps sort of keeps, that, yeah. you, keeps you sharp, you know, where the rest of the time it's all kind of sort of long, steady or else sort of... And you started you know, off Mountain biking is that true, or what way did that? What was the yeah? Time? Well, that's downhill. I suppose 
I, I really just started riding bikes when I left high school. Um, just to keep fit, just riding yeah, yeah. mountain bike a bit of forest and building jumps and stuff. And then um, just wrecked loads of bikes and then decided yeah, yeah. to buy a, buy a big bike, a bike with loads of travel and yeah, yeah. lots of suspension. And so I ended up yeah. buying a downhill bike. And I suppose when I started in shorts, I fell into a group of guys in the office that yeah, yeah. rode downhill, you know, rode Tullymore, Donner and the likes of the weekends. And I wasn't driving at the time. So I was just being lifted and laid, sure. you know. Yeah, yeah. It was brilliant, you know. And, um, I suppose off the back of that started racing downhill and started oh, getting okay. sort of more more competitive. So were, were you with Plush then? Was that when you were yeah, with Plush? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Plush has been going for a long, long, long time, way before me. Yeah, so yeah. sort of the likes of Colin Finley, Mark Dixon, Ricky McKellen back in that day, yeah, yeah. you know, sort of more you know, sort of just small downhill squads. So it was Colin Finley's idea to sort of reinvigorate Plush and get that going again, yeah. just to get a, another sort of off-road oriented club because I suppose at the time all you really had was XMTV that's right yeah, you know, yeah. in, in terms of off-road so Colin yeah. started plush um and even downhill, sp- downhill specific teams would have been yeah. few and yeah. far so, back in yeah that's pretty much what we we're doing it was downhill specific you know like Colin himself as plush then ran you know a couple of races yeah yeah um, how'd you get on at them hmm? how'd you get on at the downhill racing then racing yeah I do <laughs> You know, in the senior ranks, it was I'd won a couple of races. Um, yeah, no, I, I I went all right. Yeah, you know, you know, and then race race the late. People so. say like the, the downhillers have to switch the brain off, but then so where does the transition then come from? I'm gonna I'm gonna do road because there's a few you guys that came from the downhill, and you know, had my view is that the downhillers looked at the roadies and went, "What's that all about?" You know, yeah. and well, I I sort of I suppose racing the downhill at a Bit of success, I was enjoying it, and then back in when was that? August two thousand eleven, I broke my neck. Right. So okay, uh, just going about in the bike after work and, and Beaver. Um, so off the back of that, I then started to ride the road, just for to get back, yeah, just yeah. just for fitness. Yeah, yeah. Um, a couple of mates who were roadies right with them, and they were obviously bumming and both. You're strong. Yeah. Where were we there before I got cut off? Um, yeah, we're just downhill career. Yes, your downhill career, breaking yeah. breaking your neck. Yeah, which you didn't, so, didn't know about. Yeah, no, that was 2011. Um, pretty, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a pretty bad old fracture, like, and sort of fairly lucky to be living off the back of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, just going about and around Beaver, hit a few jumps and something like um, a hundred times before, probably. Yeah, it was. You know. At the Beaver side, there's like a big bomb hole yeah, above yeah. where all the berms and stuff are. So you sort of sort of jump into the bomb hole or, or whatever. So it was me and my mate were just going about. It was a bit slippy, and I turned around to sort of just laugh at him. And I looked up, and I was instead of sort of going right into the bomb hole, yeah, yeah, I was going to the left hand side where there was like a bit of a wall on the landing. Yeah, so yeah. So sort of then just seen the wall coming and kind of lifted the front end up as much as I could to try and clear the wall. And the back wheel came down on the wall, and basically I just face planted the floor. <laughs> So at the time, I kind of got up and emptied the knife of mud and so I thought, no, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. Um, and all I wanted to do was get to the car and, and get home. So yeah, yeah. Like, I, could, I couldn't move my head or sort of gasping for breath. And yeah, it was really, probably really, really stupid at the time. And, you know, but I convinced the guys just to like, you know, get my bike in the car and get home. And the closer yeah, I got yeah. to home, the, the more I realized, no, there's something's not right. So I got yeah. home. And I had to phone my mum to come out to the car because I couldn't get out of the car. And I was like, get me, get me out of the car. I just want to get a shower and go to bed and sleep yeah, it yeah. off. And yeah, yeah so it'll be all right in the morning. It'll be all right in the morning. That's all I yeah. wanted to do. You know? And it, it really wasn't. So straight down to, didn't even go to the Lagan Valley, I went straight down to the Royal and sat about for half an hour. And I was just like, I can't take this pain anymore. And I think my mum went to, like, Lindsay's not in a great way here. And they're like, well, what happened? And he's, he's like took a thump the head and like all right okay so put me then straight on the spinal board and for x-rays and stuff and ended up with uh, three three or four broken ribs and my uh, three or four broken ribs and then what they call a fracture c1 and c2 fracture so yeah, it's yeah. like really 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 high up so yeah, yeah. they actually call that a, a hangman's fracture because so that's if they want the if you're going to be hung and they want you want to kill you straight away. They'll stick the noose at the front of your neck. 
yeah, yeah. So that, that just basically does the damage. And okay. C1 is like a, a disc with a hole in it, and C2 yeah, yeah. is another really spud that allows your rotation. So basically, my neck snapped like that, and the front came off, and it took a top off a bit, off the top. So the sort of said, he says that the consultant basically says, Look, you're lucky to be living. You know, yeah. it's usually. You're, you know, you come in contact with your spinal cord or anything up in there, and yeah. it's, it's, it's so a night ring, like you know, it's yeah. all your body functions done. So, yeah, spent three weeks in hospital, and luckily enough, that everything was stable. And yeah, yeah, um, I was just in like a full body cast for another three months. So that was sort of, but that was August, August 2011, and then I was back on a downhill bike racing the first winter series in. February 2012 sure. and won that race and then Look. um I think that year 2012 we were going over and doing a good friend Joe Ward was going over and racing with him yeah yeah at the British series and I think that year it just every round we went to it was just so so miserable yeah yeah you know just a weller and it was just I think that's just what switched me off yeah the downhill it just sort of lost there just wasn't the same racing over here and the yeah, racing yeah. over there was just it was grim you know it was like the off-road Stop scene's not the off-road scene's not great here. It, you know, yeah. the guys do their best, but you know, we, yeah. don't, we aren't blessed with as many yeah. with the with the councils first of all, but the, the racing, never mind downhill. Yeah, so is, I have to say the downhill was probably the downhill scene was probably better than the cross country oh, yeah. scene at the time. Yeah, yeah, we had a we had a few venues and lots of really you know the races were always well supported and with with good tracks and, and then obviously the the, the courses in Ross Traver that opened up and that were legal you know I think yeah, yeah. There. so um yeah i think about that time i was starting to enjoy the road and the fitness yeah fitness and yeah and on the, the downhill bike you win plastic trophies and medals and on the road yeah, yeah. you get envelopes of cash so yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. i know it's not about the money but no it's, it definitely isn't yeah but sometimes yeah. when you do get it it makes makes life yeah more yeah no i did i was just enjoying the road a whole lot more so i thought no do more on the road here and then maybe a bit of cross country at the same time. But like you say, there just wasn't the same yeah. in here, you know. Five guys on the start line of an S1 race, yeah. like, you know. Yeah. yeah, and I sort of find myself opting to go to a road race and a, an MPS. Like, I don't think I've ever done a full so, MPS series, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. sort of just whatever was convenient, you know, maybe one in Castle Wellen or, or whenever. And then how did the whole powerhouse thing then come about with joining Gareth and that? Um, I guess I suppose he's... I've always known of Powerhouse, you know, even in the downhill days, he's sort of like the, the kit for, for Plush, and it really is just because he is a local supplier. He's in yeah. Hillsborough, you know, he's a showroom. Um, so I've always been friendly with him. Um, I suppose in 2017, he started the the junior team, probably off of, you know, to help his son. You yeah. Know, so he, you know, was starting on the road at the time. Yeah, time so. The likes of Zeno, Brendan Flanagan. That's right. Um, PJ Cahar. Liam. I can't mind Liam's second name. He's not riding the bike anymore, but did a real good. You, all yeah. the, the best juniors in the country on a team. Well, they really were a great, successful team. So um, obviously, I wasn't a junior. So I was sort of just piggybacking off the, the back of that. You know, with no real plush was sort of dying away. And I think Finzo, he wasn't really involved in the downhill anymore and you know there was a while a time where i was sort of running about in a plush kit on the road and it really yeah. was just rather than riding unattached so yeah yeah and then made the transition to, to power he said power he was happy garth was happy to you know just to sort me out the kit i suppose you know yeah, yeah. um and then i suppose more so 2018 yeah again it's it just allowed me you know it was, it was just instead of running unattached yeah, um, and the guys, the juniors, were obviously in different races. They were riding in the A3, so very rarely was I having the race as a team, which yeah. suited me. You know, I loved yeah. to do the thing. Yeah, you know, I'd... I've what I've seen and I've gathered, and there is two sides to that, isn't there? You know, yourself, like you can go. It's nice to have it at the tail of the north and those sort of races. That's... You have to have the backup, or if yeah. you can float around and all right, you're going to miss out on the odd race. Yeah, but yeah, like I've I've, I've done both with being in Castle Ray on my own and then joining Gary, and. Um, you know, one you know yourself. You've won big races in teams and big races on your, on your off your own back as well. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I suppose that, like you say, see, come the likes of Tour of the North and Tour of Ulster, 
you know, that's when, you know, that's a you know, two big races that I'd love to win, but yeah, you, yeah. it's hard to win without a, a strong, a strong team, you yeah, know, yeah. and I look back at the results I've had in Tour of the North and Tour of Ulster, like, uh, you know, last year's, or not last year's Tour of Ulster, the year yeah, before, yeah. I think it was maybe second, third and fourth in the stages, King of the Mountain overall and the points overall. Yeah, yeah. yeah fourth in GC so that was and then the year before Tour of the North was the same you know real good stage results good GC and yeah. King of the Mountains you know so I can I can get you know a good amount of success yeah, yeah. but to sort of finish it off you need someone that's going to maybe the team there. dedicate themselves you know yeah. like me and Gary yeah. went into a few of them every one year I got top 10 in the Tour of Alston I was like right you know let's, let's focus on it the following year you know let's yeah. make name we went it and we finished half an hour down that, that first yeah. stage, you know, the yeah. England came over. I was like, right. But I was sort of going to it, right, you know, I might be riding for you this weekend, Gary, or he might he might have been riding for me, and that's the way we sort of yeah. work. You know, you, you, know. Have to, you have to give and take with a couple of the races. Yeah, and at the same time, if you sort of know you've only got yourself, you can then kind of, kind of piggyback off the other teams. You know, the other teams don't sort of yeah, yeah. you to take up any work. Yeah. Um, But it's, I think to finish it off, you need your own sort of strong, dominant team to to yeah. be able to go control it. You know, like we've seen before from the likes of the Pactemo guys, or that was the node node was it node pasta boys come over that week? Node four pasta or something that them boys come over. Was, come over one. That day. was what, that was what twenty sixteen. Yeah, twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen. Yeah. That was my first tour of the north. I done with. I think I was still only a cat three, maybe I was a cat two, but I guessed it for. Shelbourne Orchard. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the intention, it was first turn off. It was just to get round. Yeah, yeah. Take well, I lost it, yeah. and I got yeah. round. Yeah, it was brilliant. Like even like, like you do lift yourself for yeah, it. yeah. And, but you know, wasn't that no four Geodana, no yeah. four Geodana crowd was around. Yeah. Yeah. I just I remember going out out the, out the road that day. And it was just a line out, and then up in the break, yeah. and the guy says, "You're going to ride through," and I says, "Yeah, once once I once to settle down, you know." We yeah. turned left, and it was a a cross tailwind. I just went out the back. Yeah. <laughs> and they finished. I we I finished in the. It wasn't even the second group. It was like the third or fourth group. We were half an hour down. Yeah. First day, I was like, oh right. End up having a few beers on the Saturday night. Yeah. You know, night <laughs> stages. You know. Yeah. Uh, so tell us this training wise. Can tell us through like. Well, don't give too much away now. Um, but like a good a good sort of solid week that you sort of get to the end of the week and go right. That was good. Um, like sort of how many hours do you do you aim for? Is it numbers? Is it heart rate? Uh, uh, it's all numbers, all all power based, you know, and yeah, power's brilliant because you go out onto the bike and you get those sort of those tired sensations, and you know you're it's it's gonna be hard, but you know you can hit the numbers and you know everything's going okay, so that's you know power's very reassuring and, and it's it's brilliant to work with. So yeah, everything's power based. Um, I would probably would look at the heart rate a wee bit more for the you know from a longer endurance yeah, yeah. based on you know rides of four or five hours, and maybe just say like. I'll keep the heart rate between 130 and 145 and just take over like a take over like that and not really be too concerned about yeah, yeah. Um, par. But um yeah, my weeks are all fairly similar. You know, Mondays, Mondays and Fridays, I'll go to the gym. Okay. <clears throat> and I think that's been a big game changer in the last sort of two or three years. Get take you know, going to the gym and start more strength work. Yeah. Or you end up with a bad back like me. Yeah. <laughs> what's just basically yeah. what happened, yeah. No gym work at yeah. all. Yeah, so yeah, gyms, gym, gym Monday and Friday, and then Tuesday night sort of depending on the time of year. It's well, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is also the interval, indoor interval based sessions. Okay, Up until yeah. now, I suppose usually get outside. Yeah, but yeah, even over the winter, it's just you know. And then, so that, how many hours do you try and do you aim for? Like in a, in a, in a is, do you aim for to get the hours in? Like, is it, if you get to a certain stage, you go, I haven't enough done this week. Do you try and fill in the blank, really, or do you, do you panic about that? I wouldn't panic so much. You know, I just very, very rarely do I find myself not having enough training done. You know, yeah. I sort of, I've everything planned in training picks, and like I use training picks for everything. It's just basically, it's my diary. So, yeah. you know, any appointments or anything to do with work, it all goes in there. Seriously, and, yeah. Yeah. And I just very rarely am I not oh. ticking the boxes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and if I don't yeah. tick a box, I don't get too worried. I don't do an extra hour where I, just to, yeah. to make it up but yeah my routine's usually you know gym on a monday tuesday night 
two or three hours on the bike intervals. Wednesday night, two or three hours on the bike, two or three hours on the bike intervals. And Thursday's the same. Um, Friday I'm at the gym, and then just bigger, longer spins outside on the, the Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, and um, so you have done like you've a, a, a bronze and the, the Irish champs TT, which yeah, you know, amazing. Um, yeah. And do you, do you, would you change your training for the time trial? Or is it no. just bounce off the back, basically? No, because yeah. I, hate, I hate doing 25s. I think if you were to go and do, if you were to do 25s and you end up doing 25s, you do have to train for them. Or yeah. 10, you know, anybody can wing a 10. Yeah. You know, like last night was the first time I actually jumped on the TT bike. Okay. Since, like, probably since the Nationals. Seriously, yeah. Yeah. What, what like I, I, what's, what's the bike? What's the weapon? It's a Vitus. It's a, the Vitus, Vitus Oro. So I got it. Last year, the year up. before 2018, yeah, it was a prototype Vitus Oro, and um, yeah, I can't fault it at all. I've always ridden a Vitus TT bike, yeah. you know, probably with the position that's dialed in. How long does that take to get you? Not too, yeah, not 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 long. Um, I was a big mirror in the garage, and right, uh, okay. I was fairly comfortable last year. So, going into this year, I got a company called Arrow Lab to like 3D print me some nice bars just oh, to okay. sort of match the position that I had, yeah, yeah. So, I was setting them up last night, um, jumped on, stuck the helmet on, and I looked all right in the mirror, took a wee okay. video, and all was yeah, good. Yeah. So I'll maybe get out onto the road on a decent day, but I do very, very little on the TT bike. Okay. You, but, uh, uh, and like I would have done the arts one maybe once a week, maybe done their calendar. You do some of the, is it like the one point ones? Yeah, the, well, I suppose ones? that's one thing. I do very little in the way of training on the TT bike, but up here, seeing around Banbridge, you know, we have yeah. VCIV, Banbridge, Dramara. Yeah. You know, you have so many clubs at West Down Wheelers. You could race Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday yeah. night if you wanted to. You know, and then there's all the, then there's all the, the inter-club stuff. And um, the championships. Yeah, yeah. And that's, I love that. It's, it's brilliant. It's sort of, it is, a, it's, sometimes it's a substitute the training, you know. If, yeah. But I do try to limit it to, I suppose like with Swift, the limit the race and maybe one a week to keep everything else, keep everything else structured. Yeah. You know, I, I do like the structure and everything has to be right. So, you know, the likes of the Wednesday night is just a bit of a, a free for all. So that's, you know, come the summer when the club racing's on, I will only do usually just the one, you know, but like one, you yeah, said, yeah. With the, the like TTs in the carriage, right? So. Like sometimes those club races are harder than road races. You can get a bit yeah. better workout. Some people, like some of the like, second and third cat guys will, will give it more because there's, it's maybe a smaller yeah. race or it's a shorter there's less people that I'm yeah. coming away from and going geez that, that was hard enough hard. Yeah. yeah yeah no, it a couple of boys turn up as well yeah no it's it's, it's always up there's a good there's a good kind of club scene up yeah up right there it is it is good and then you, you enjoyed the nuts corner races yeah yeah I loved it I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy that sort of thing it is brilliant you know Have you, you've done a few carcassons yeah Never done a Carcasson. The only time I'd done a Carcasson was the Arch. Tour of the North. Tour of the North. Did you ever ride the, the Arch 3 day? Oh, Arch 3 day. No, that was before my yeah. time. No, seriously. It's just the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was, no, did we do a Tour, no, tour, tour of the, the North? North. That part of the yeah, company, yeah. 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 That was um, that was a few years ago, and there was a man that won that. He lapped everyone that night. Yeah, but yeah. The second group, that was that was a, a tough weekend. Yeah. As well as, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what did you call him? It's an absolute motorbike. That's Spart bikes. Yeah. Ed Clemens. Ed Clemens. Yeah, motorbike. Yeah. Absolute yeah. motorbike. Yeah, it was. Um, so yeah, that was that was a t- tough weekend. Um, so going back to the train, do you do you follow like a strict dad? Is that like do you watch? Um, my dad's pretty good. It's not. It's. I sort of got into the hat. It's goodish, yeah. yeah. I, I always eat well, and then I sort of use my Sunday night as a as a night where I'll have something yeah. different, and have a yeah, beer. Yeah. But you know, I don't get any pleasure out of eating. Yeah, yeah. Crap food, you know, and I'm, I'm yeah, not yeah. one for for takeaways or anything like that. So, you know, my treat for the week is a is a beer and a, a bowl of crisps or okay. something, you know, on a Sunday night. Wednesday night after uh, after the Swift races, I was hitting a few there, you know, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsored and yeah. encouraged by Marcus, shall we say? Yeah, uh, but in regards to that, like I'm, you know, just make sure I'm feeling feeling yeah. the workouts and feeling the training, and you know, I love porridge, so I'll porridge for breakfast, I'll, I'll yeah. porridge for lunch if I could, you know. 
suppose you find out what works for you and just sort of stick it and don't don't well, fail off it. Yeah. 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 That's all that's pretty much what I do, you know, of a of a, a catalog of recipes and, and meals there that I like and it's, you do your own cooking and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I build a main chef in the house like. All right, okay. So I get home and it's all it's all made for me. Like no, this. see, I, I always, you know, I, I like to be in control of what I'm eating. So yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it's always best to do it My wife, she's she's actually starting to track this week as well. So it, I'll bounce off the back of that now as well. Yeah, it was. So yeah. had a discussion now that we're, we're drinking too much this week, and it's like, right, <laughs> yeah, let, let's get on. Yeah. You know, but um, you have you you've rode for like Ireland as well, and a couple of the Irish teams over. over uh, never, no? never had the opportunity out for Ireland though. Any time I've been away is when the Ulster team. You know, that's, it's one thing that I've always liked to have done is ride. You know, yeah, yeah, ride, ride for Ireland. But you know, there's sometimes we've maybe heard whispers about getting the opportunity, but yeah. it's never never come about. You know, and then there's been some odd selections ahead of me. But yeah. sometimes it's all about who you know or who's coaching you. Or, yeah, well, I've had issues with them in, in the past with different things yeah. and stuff as well, but. <laughs> I think the, the good thing about us being from Ulster is we have that other step of riding for Ulster and getting yeah. over. But like you've done a that's, few races over in England. Yeah, I've done a few. So that's one thing with Ulster. I've been very, very fortunate. You know, I have yeah. to say, I don't think there's been an Ulster trip that I haven't been on. You know, in the last couple of years, I've always, I think we've been, oh, you know, the likes of Lincoln GP, Manx yeah. GP, Beaumont Trophy. And, you know, like you say, compared to the other counties, we are very, very fortunate. Yeah. Um, yeah, they they have the same sort of setup, but they just don't apply yeah. it. I don't think, yeah, yeah. But I think in regards to Ulster, it's yeah. With there's there's a there's, with a good pillar of riders, and yeah. we are making progress. Like I mean, three or four years ago, going over the Beaumont Trophy with team, and it really was just when you compare yourself to the rest of the boys, there you do feel like you're. You're Fred, you know, you're, yeah, yeah. you're gathering jerseys and shorts out of an old black bin bag and there's nothing that fits. And it's, I get, I'm fairly fussy about my kit. And it's just, you just see when you look shit, you just feel it, you know, it's not. Yeah, if you look, you look shit, you feel shit and you go shit yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Look good, feel so, good, go good, yeah. Yeah, so I think they started the buckler ideas up a wee bit and we got a new kit. I think it was for the RAS. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. For the RAS, there was an Ulster team in the RAS and you know, fully supported kit, everything it was brilliant, really, really good. Led by Dave McCann was looking after us, yeah. And um, yeah, that was brilliant. That was all through through Ulster, you know. And so, if you, had, the, if you hadn't got on those Ulster teams, would you would you have went over to those races at any stage? You think probably, uh, probably not, experience. you know, you, uh, the expense, and then again, you need the invite too, yeah, right, okay. Um, Okay. So it's sort of. I thought you could just turn up with those primary counties. No, not now. It's, it's hard enough. It's hard enough to get an entry. So, okay. and to be honest, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know what way to go about it. I think yeah. you do a bit of a team about you, and then to be successful too, you do need to be part of a team and move yeah. as a team. And that's what I found. You know, in the last year or two, we were we we did have a presence, and we weren't just going to to finish. We were moving about, and there were always boys getting success out of it. You know, and it's. I think it helped that we did look a bit better, you know. Yeah, boys, just take you a wee bit more serious. Did you did you ever ride that off road one over there? What was is that the Rugby Classic? Yeah, yeah, that's probably one of my favourite races. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really, really good. Did you uh, were, what was the one down south that you won it? Gal- did you? Galway Classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably two of, two of my favourite races, just because there's that off road element to it. But something different. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Galway Classic was brilliant. Yeah. It was really, really good. You know, so. I think when like I wasn't the first year it was run, sure it wasn't. I think it was run one year before the Galway Classic. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the first. Was it? Yeah, and I think yeah. people are always skeptic that first year of a, of a race starting, and they're like, yeah. Oh, but the photos looked amazing. Yeah, I think what didn't help there was a national series road yeah. round on the same weekend, so that's why they maybe didn't get the same yeah. names as what they, they would have liked. Um, like, it's something. It's someone thinking outside the box and something different, you know. And, and, yeah. You know, in Belgium, it's a standard or whatever. Or maybe even in England, there's a few yeah. more of them. But you know, I had looked and run the race in a road race. I don't have a man part to do it, but like real bad crap roads. Yeah. Just and, and let everyone know that this is going to be a real different road race. But yeah, yeah, it'll be something something that I look forward no. to. Don't, we'll see. Did you, did you do the gravel grinder? No, no. no. So no. that's that's the part. That's something I'd like to do as well. I thought there was a yeah. few down that line. You know. Gravel yeah. racing. I don't know if it would take off now. 
see the likes of that the Rutland Melton and the 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 Galway race. See some of the stuff you're riding. It was bonkers. Yeah. See, there, see if you were to stop and look at it, you thought, oh, there's no way I'd take a road bike over that. Seriously, you know. But like, see the look. I I, I didn't change anything. I think I think it's like stuck different bottle cages on to keep the yeah the bottles on. That was about it. You know, not, didn't do anything different with my tires or wheels or nothing. And the tire, the, the bike's took the abuse. No bother. Sometimes yeah. you can overthink it and go right up, up at yeah. on. What are you yeah. riding? 20, 23, 25? 20, 25, yeah. Yeah, seems to be. Yeah. Like I, I, I have tires on our 21s. I'm like, yeah. It's, it's gone the other way now, you know? Yeah. 25, no, I think if 25s make a difference, you know, I'd love to yeah. run 28s, but I'm sort of constrained by the frame. tire clearance on the yeah. frame. Yeah. And you, what is it you're riding? The, the Parley? It's, it's, Parley, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I that's can't from, fault it at all. I love it. That's from Joe, is it? Joe, yeah, Joe yeah. and Sean. Yeah, yeah, you know. The Davy Blues, nice now, have them, right? Yeah, so we got them. My 2018, we got them also a custom spray by your man and Chris Custom and Scarva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's. The big, big Jerry was on looking at how to yeah, get the bike spray, and it's like, yeah. what, what does it matter, Jerry? It's going to be black anyway, black wood, mm-hmm. black wood dirty anyway. Yeah. But he's a bald yeah. man. But uh, yeah, the, the equipment definitely, definitely. Helps like in this yeah. and is you know if I had to make disc brakes four four or five years ago I would have said no it's not going to happen but we're when I'm riding about there the disc is going I can't get them better than at all yeah I'm still not a I'm still not a fan I don't know yeah. it's for me it's the hoods it's the hood size yeah you know it's I think I've got small hands and any bike I've jumped on it just the hoods just feel obscene I don't I massive yeah yeah, yeah. Now, I'm using the the DA two ones which yeah. definitely are a lot better. On yeah, Tigra. but um, yeah. I noticed that from the cross going from the, starting the, the first levers we had on the cross with the hydraulic levers, and they were massive, big silver yeah. plate on the front. Um, and then once we, that was the only ones I could ride on the road, and as you say, they were they were massive, like, yeah. But then there's nobody I've never been about that there hasn't been scraping or squealing and rubbing, and yeah, oh my gosh, the heads on themselves at the moment. So here, the, the Swift, Swift on a Wednesday night, yeah. This time last year, were you, were you on Swift? Or are you fairly new to it? Or would I be no, I, I, I did a wee bit. I suppose once we went into lockdown and Cycling Ireland run their leg, I think I'd done the first Cycling Ireland one through when I still had a trial and I got absolutely smoked. Yeah. Like stuck everything in as it should. And I, I yeah. just, and that took the enjoyment out of it, seeing all these yeah. guys that you know are nowhere near you in real life. Yeah. And like I just, yeah, I really, really struggled. And then I think I just switched it off and then thought, Every, there's a bit of a buzz about it so I jumped back on it again and sort of done a few races not cycling Ireland races and sort of then sort of realised there is a gaming element to it and yeah. kind of got a knack for it yeah, I yeah. sort of found myself being able to, to to float in a bunch and it just wasn't hard all the time yeah yeah um, but then as the cycling Ireland races went on you'd seen the guys that were winning races disappear so Eventually, I think I won, I won one of the rounds, right, and then okay. got one of the, I got a email from Gary Nugent, or was it Brian? No, Brian Nugent. Yeah, yeah. About the, the verification, you know, a big, okay. you know, yeah, yeah. the whole verification process. And I dual record everything, so everything there is. But I still had to go and take videos and do my height and my weight and um, the dual recording the you know, your par PDs in the last year on the road inside. So this is brilliant. You know, this is, yeah, yeah. they're actually making an effort. Yeah, yeah. To, to, Do you think that's why those other ones were disappearing maybe? Had to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of then filled me with a bit of confidence and kind of thought, yeah, yeah. no, this is all fairly legit. So now that was off the back of that. I think I'd done a couple more. I'd see, when it was all really weather dependent. Yeah, yeah. You know, I sort of, I'd rather get outside when the sun was shining, but if it was I think damp, I... I'd, I'd do a swift race in a couple hours after. I think I lined up for one of them, and um, it was early on. I'd only got the turbo. I was just using one of the, the cheaper ones before and got the new turbo. Lined up for it so- Saturday morning, took a day off work, got gym in, and I yeah. didn't even get in the first group off the line. Like, yeah. the, hell, the hell with this, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's sort of done that. And then between the cycling Ireland races and then a few team time trials, team, tra- team time trials were brilliant. Yeah. You know, like, Self, Kipper, Nathan Mullen, Derek Feely, all in a wee team, and yeah. it's sort of when we were sort of right in the middle of lockdown, where you weren't seeing, you weren't out, you weren't seeing anybody, uh, so but you were doing this sort of team time trial with the Discord on the go, and you actually yeah, felt yeah. like you were involved in something and part yeah, of a yeah. team for half an hour on a 
Thursday evening, you know, so yeah. it was sort of a then, cop get music. Then Wednesday night ones, like for a part of the Ross and stuff, like I was I was doing them and enjoying them and just even listening to them on Discord without even, you know, getting in. And yeah. then once the Wednesday night races, then they got the slot and I was like, well, this is this is really happening now, you know? Yeah, yeah. But, it, but as you say, there is a real gaming element to it. Like, and it, it did get me at the start where now it's just like, you know what? It is what it is. Like, Jim was yeah. telling me not to be beating myself up as much on, like, coming into the on the, on the work the next day and all. So yeah. Doesn't such one hide that happen yeah. and all that there? Yeah, it is. There's a lot of people get very wound up over it, but see the bonus, yeah, I'm going into them and I'm riding tired. You know, maybe a day yeah. of work in or my training done already and I've no expectations at all other than to just in, just enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Be realistic about it. Yeah. You know, what's your what's your setup? Or what you have a good bike on or what? Or what way you set up? Um, I had a party on it for a long time just because it wasn't doing anything else. And then I had the Moe CAD on the road. So at the minute I have the, the CAD on the trainer because I'm sort okay. of just strip the party to rebuild it to get it back onto the road again. Um, but either of the two bikes, you know, I've yeah, them you run on a, a laptop or is it a, Apple TV? No, just on the laptop. laptop. Just everything through the laptop, yeah. And yeah. compressing right. Fiona by your uh, typing while you can... Well, that's yeah, that's a Swift, Swift on the laptop and then... I have the YouTube going on my yeah. uh, on my phone. Yeah, yeah. So, but like that's, uh, I don't know how other people are getting on, but I'm I'm right now and I'm fairly comfortable. Like if you know yeah. what I mean, you know. So I can work away at my phone and yeah, and, mine's covered in sweat. It doesn't work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so over the tour of the north, do you think you'll ride it? Make a decision. I don't know. I don't know. I'm undecided yet. I'll see what the weather's doing. Yeah. You know, if it was two or three nights during the week. Yeah, but you know, I only get so many weekends. But then again, I'm I'm off. I think I'm off all that week, off work. So I have the opportunity then to you know, to get a bit of volume in. So I don't know. I'll see what the weather's doing. Maybe if you get closer and there's a bit of a buzz around it, then it might. might yeah, be. have to put prizes yeah. out. You never know. I think yeah. there's gonna be a, yeah, a bit of a prize list. Yeah, you know. So uh, and then once we go back into sort of racing, as in whenever that ever happens what's the plans is there any like talk of racing abroad or going going away or just trying to... Look, there was all sorts of chat of getting away you know last season i suppose last season we talked about getting away and i don't think i can't see it happening yeah. i don't know I, we can't, can't i think just focus i don't see we'll see what happens domestically yeah um if anything so at the minute you look at last year time trials went ahead so yeah um i can only hope that I think the first journey migrates the twenty fifth of April. That's penciled then, in, is it? Yeah. That's penciled in. It hasn't changed yet. So, yeah. No, for me, it'll just be keeping things domestic. It can't see me going too far. Two of ours, and what was the other one? That's the only dates we've sort of seen. Two of ours and uh, North Down. GP was, was, only, was it? Yeah, yeah, that was the only two yeah. we have sort of seen. I've reached out to a few guys and said like, if I have any dates, I don't know. But again. Everyone's just, it's just getting cancelled as we go on, you know? Yeah. No, I, I can't see me going too far. I'll just race at home. Yeah. You know. Just take a few more boxes. I think as Tour Arge should have been, it should have been either this weekend or last weekend. Okay. Yeah. That is. Yeah. I think you were the last one out of that race. I was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2018. 2018. Jeez. That was one of, the, that's, it's, it's a race I've always wanted to win. You know, I think yeah. I've been second and second and fourth or something, but yeah. I kind of went into it last year and it's just like, like 2018, what a, no, 2019, I wanted to win the two of ours and go sub-19 on the TT bike. So I just ticked yeah. both them boxes. Right. So it was, yeah, two of ours yeah, was one I've always wanted to win. Yeah, that's the goals. Yeah, there was one year, there was a group finish, but that, that year you, you got off the road, wasn't didn't you? It wasn't a sprint finish. The year I won it? Yeah. There was, there was a group of maybe five or six. Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't in it and sort of thought flip that's it you know it's yeah, yeah. it's game over and then i think we're riding into the wind into the finish with about 15k to go and i thought stuff it i may as well go and i, think yeah, I yeah. went i was on my own i think i rode across to oh who was it if somebody else was trying to get a chris richardson yeah was trying to chris richardson he was yeah, halfway yeah. in between so i think it got across to him yeah, yeah. and then we, we made the, the break of four or five there was darnell and gareth o'neill and a couple of others in it and yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sort of impressed myself with that. Yeah, yeah. We effort to get across and got across and sort of knew yeah, there was something there. Then yeah, yeah. I just, I just, just felt good. And, yeah, went early. Yeah, and, yeah. Won it. Yeah. Is it like 
I've rode it a couple of times, and there's, there's, there's been different ways. It's been like a group sprint finish one year. There's been a break at finish, and then there's been days where you came up that coast in twos and threes. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those races that you can't can't really predict. Yeah. Sometimes the break even goes in the first first couple couple of miles. But I like, yeah. what I like about it is a, it's never the same. It's a different course every year. Of course. Yeah. It's always the no, same sort of finish. Yeah. No, it's definitely definitely a favorite one, a favorite of mine. Yeah, and then there's a few. Hopefully, we get a couple more of the classics, um, the Red Hand, and there's a couple of the Bond Bridge races. They're, they'd be yeah. sort of your home races, would they be? Yeah, I'm a clone. I'm a, well, I'm originally from Hillsworth. I'm living in living in Bond Bridge now, but yeah, yeah I'm, a cl- I'm a clone GP and the Taggart and the Bags. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, you, yeah. These two, big ones. Well, two big ones here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I've always been the likes of the Taggart and the Bags. I've always been very, very close. Like last year, I was second. In, yeah, second in both of them. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> which I think is the most frustrating position to finish in, like you know. Yeah, but like, see, I'm, you know, a lot of people saying, "Oh, second again, second again, third again," but you know, I enjoy the racing and I'm always yeah. consistent. Like I look at my results in 2018, 2019. Very rarely was I walking away outside the top three or top yeah. five. Because you were you right first in, in, in the second iron points. What was that? Yeah. 2019. 2018, 2019, I think, yeah. for a long time. And then come the end of the year, I think I, saw, I missed a few races through going away with the Ulster team. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's something I'm not fussed on. It's, it's nice to finish. Yeah, yeah. Dragons. It doesn't mean a whole heap. But, um, yeah, it's, I like being consistent and always being, yeah, yeah. being in the mix, you know. Because there's like over the years, I've seen guys that go out at the start of the season, maybe dip and then come back. But you, you just seem to be. Yeah, I can go right through March, yeah, yeah. March to September, no bother. What about a bit of cycle cross? Can we ever see you doing a bit of that? I really, really, I really love the idea of it. And there's loads of people I've had the conversation, I've had the conversation with, and they're like, and I'm just like, ah, oh, but sure to do it right, you need two bikes, you need a yeah, phone yeah. and this and that. And, the, and there's been so many people have eliminated that excuse. Oh, I'll give you bikes. Oh, I'll do yeah. your pets for you. So yeah, yeah. every year I always say, oh, I'll maybe give Donner to go, you know, yeah, yeah. Race, when it's dry and you can get away with it and I never do yeah. so I, I, I don't know uh, someday yeah. someday I do yeah. like the idea of it I really do like the idea of it but. Something it, it does take you like the first whenever I first started it was one bike and then the two bikes and yeah but like two bikes was never a standard it is a standard now that yeah. you sort of need that to be yeah. unless you, as you say as you get a, a dry race yeah like, see I couldn't I couldn't do it just I couldn't do it just to ride around for the crack yeah, I want to yeah. go and be competitive you know, yeah yeah so. well hopefully we'll see a couple of cross races yeah so, maybe. 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 but we're, we're just planning to run the uh, nuts corner again so fingers crossed that happens just no dates to confirm but that's big jerry's boat yeah so fingers crossed for that there no so. that was brilliant really you know really really good last year i thoroughly enjoyed it, it i think everyone was really like withdrawal symptoms from racing it was like right yeah let's go in but yeah real you won a few of them the baller won one um yeah, it was real, real tight racing mix. What it was, yeah. yeah. So the handicaps we were looking at them at the start, and it's like, oh, we're never going to pull that back. But you know, and like, say the handicaps were big, and I have to say, like, I rode hard every night. It was, yeah. big, it was big, big numbers, but it yeah. was easy done. You know, see when you've all in twists and turns and lots going on. It's, uh, it's but like, yeah. um, Carcassonne was always good, but it had big long straights. Uh, uh, you could get a you could get a good workout on on Carcassonne, like. As a, yeah. and it's a bit different now compared to there because there's a lot of corner speed needed but if you have the off road you know that, that applies to that so it was like yeah. we, um, we Lee or no Dean the younger yeah. one he yeah. ran around the corners like yeah yeah. he was he didn't get a, he didn't get the win did he at any of them no, he, no. Uh, just, just there was for, for a lot of them he, he did spend a lot of time on his own yeah. you know and it took you know a group of maybe three or four yeah. cat ones to Catch him, yeah. Him. All lined out. You yeah. didn't you, did you you dropped her at one of the races, didn't you? Did you I crashed, but got back yeah, yeah. up again and won it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Does remember Mark Mark Light there down? Yeah. Some of them were, were sketchy now. So. Was that, that, that top corner was a bit damp and he just yeah. got a bit he just got carried away. Yeah. I think I, I ran around to the grass once or twice as well. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was riding the cross bike for the first one and then the the road bike came and um got it built and uh, dead on and then during that week was when I dropped her so it was good. got around yeah. the race okay and then I trained and dropped her you know yeah no I do I do I do love a good corner I'm always sort of 
testing the grip. You know? Yeah, yeah. So Do- doesn't always work out. But here, I think that's us, mate. Um, the same yeah. Wednesday night, then. Yes. All about well. Yeah. 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 Here, yeah. thanks for coming on. Um, I'll have to get you back in again. Um, if 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 you win, we'll make a promise to get you back in. We'll talk about the race. We'll break break the race down, whatever race you've won. Yeah. So more than likely, we'll get you back in again this season. Yeah, but, uh, great, That'd be brilliant. Yeah. But thanks for coming on board, mate, and giving us a, a shout out. Yeah, keep up the good work yourself. We'll, we'll try our best. Yeah. Cheers, mate. All right, talk to you soon. Well, the Kinney Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>